Michael Bennett. So overall in Olympic boxing history against the U.S. Cuba has won 14 of 22 bouts. And now in this bantamweight semifinal, it will be Clarence Vinson of Washington, D.C. going up against Guillermo Regundo, the 19-year-old out of Cuba. And the Cubans are in a tailspin. They have lost their last five bouts, four straight yesterday in the quarterfinals. And earlier, as you saw right here, it was light flyweight. Micro Romero losing to the Frenchman Brahim Azloum in a, a one-point victory. The Cuban coaching staff was very upset about the scoring. So five straight losses as Rigondo gets set to go against Vincent. Clarence Vincent, who comes off a very impressive victory to get to the semifinals, won an action-packed shootout against Otianu Krinu of Romania, saving the day following losses that were suffered by Jeff Lacey and Michael Bennett. I don't know if this is an omen, but the Cuban coaches had forgotten the mouthpiece of Rigondo, and they just had to go ah. into the stands to get it. Someone carrying a mouthpiece in the stands. One of the people, obviously, from the team of the Cuban, maybe an assistant coach. Well, Rigondo with a scoring blow opening up and opening up with a combination. Rigondo is top four, and that power lays in that backhand, the backhand, the left hand. Very important that Vincent has a real good fight plan. Must not stay in that danger zone, which is right at the end of the power of Rigondo. And as we discussed in, in Teddy's corner just a couple of minutes back, Rigondo, as we have seen during the Olympics, tends to hold and hit and usually is able to get away with it. And at times will steal the moment, even if he's the guy taking the shot. Absolutely, Mark. Sometimes when he misses with a punch, whether it's a left hand or a right hand, he will turn. He will leave the glove out there, just as he just did. And he will turn his opponent's head or shoulder to turn him off balance, get a little bit of an edge and make it look like he's done something bigger than he's done. Caution for uh, turning back to it, his back to uh, his, his opponent. Right now, Vincent is walking in with no death, and he's allowing Rigondo to pick him up and get out. Vincent needs to start using his jab, having something coming back at Rigondo. Right now, Vincent is not sure about what he wants to do. He's not settled enough to have a real definite idea of exactly how he wants to attack Rigondo. That's his first scoring point. You recall he got off to a slow start in his opening bout and then came on late. Grabbing the Cuban here, 4-1. Vincent is one of the only fighters in this tournament that can match the Cuban Rigondo's hand speed. Guillermo Rigondo, the youngest member on the Cuban squad at 19 years of age, would like to uh, eventually be a coach after his career is over. The advice from the assistant coach, Israel Acosta, telling uh, Clarence Vincent he's got to get closer to Rigondo. Some wide punches that are blocked by Vincent, thrown by Rigondo. And there's Rigondo doing what he does best. Getting punches off real quick and then stepping out. That is why Vincent must jab on his way in. Give Rigondo something to stay defensive about. Amanda Holyfield has been a regular during the course of the week. Vincent must not stay in that danger zone. He must not stay at the end of the punches. He must not stay in that no man's zone. Either to get all the way out or all the way in with the quick Rigondo and the powerful Rigondo. Rigondo has been overpowering right through 
the uh, three rounds of boxing. Quarterfinals defeated his Turkish opponent 14-5. In fact, uh, those are the first points he gave up in his three bouts. And to this uh, point, uh, Clarence Vinson with just one scoring blow. That's been it. You wonder. Not that it's not Regano doing what he's doing, because he's a real good fighter, a real solid fighter. But you wonder if it's not a little bit of an extra task for Vinson having to be in there with the Cuban after the Cubans have lost five straight. Maybe, just maybe, the judges are feeling a little pressure too, that the Cuban contingent is not too happy. Although I think uh, those are legitimate scoring blows we've seen. Let's see what Lugano. happens as we go on. But you're right. So far, it's been on the merit of what's happened in the ring. He's I would agree. A warning sign. Little warning sign. Kind of like when you go to the beach and they think the weather's going to get bad, the uh. waves are going to start getting big. The lifeguards don't wait till the <laughs> waves get big. They put a little warning out. Another lesson in life from Teddy. Guillermo Rigondo with a 6-1 advantage. And Clarence Vinson just cannot solve it. No, he does not right now have a definitive way of going about attacking Rigondo, he doesn't know for sure. It's mix and match right now for Vincent. It's grab bag. He's not sure exactly what it is he wants to do. And that's why he's reaching with those punches. Again, what he must not do, what the American Vincent must not do, is stay in no man's land. Stay out at the end of the punches of Rigondo. He's got to be all the way out, all the way in. And not circling to his left as you suggested he should do. No, he does not have a set game plan and fight plan right now. He is confused by Rigondo. Clarence Vince.